Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So as you can see, my hair is a bit of a darker red. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this. I went and saw my sister Mandy, who does my hair all the time, and we just ended up with this darker color, and honestly, I love it. I was sort of planning on having that light red for the next couple years, but I was missing my dark hair so much. So I feel like this is a happy medium. It's like dark, but it's also still red in the light. And I'm also preparing for fall. As you can see by my outfit right now, I'm wearing plaid, I'm wearing something comfy and cozy. I don't know what it is, but when Halloween is approaching, I just go into complete fall mode. And I know we still have like two months, but I just, I can't, I, I need to be ready for fall. So I hope you guys like this look. I am seriously so excited to change this background very soon. And I'm also preparing my Halloween background. So be prepared. Halloween is like one of my favorite times of the entire year. And I'm already like planning the videos I'm gonna do. So stay tuned. Also, if you have not yet told me where you want me to go on tour in the States, please click the link down below and vote for which city you want me to go to because if you want me to meet you, you have to vote for your city. And basically the city is with the most amount of votes I'll be going on tour to, so definitely click that link, definitely vote if you want to see me because I... I want to see you. All right, so we definitely have a very interesting video today, and I'm kind of creeped out doing this alone in my house right now. As you guys know, whenever I make these sort of really creepy, eerie videos, I always happen to be alone, which is a great... <laughs> It's a great mix. But I know the last couple of weeks I've been telling a lot of my personal stories. So I thought that today we'd take a step back and I would share with you what I found online a couple days ago. As I was doing research for some of my videos, I came across this creepypasta. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but it's called I Found a Digital Camera in the Woods. Now, this was posted by someone completely anonymous, as are most creepypastas. So I'm gonna link my source down below in the description. But the original poster of this we will honestly never know and I think a lot of people do that to make it more creepy and make it more mysterious. So you guys know that I have a forest in my backyard. So the minute I saw the title of this creepypasta it intrigued me and I went on to reading it and there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna show you because this creepypasta is based on this person going into this really weird forest and finding a digital camera just lying on the ground. And what they did was they took that digital camera, brought it home, uploaded the photos, and this creepypasta is all about sharing what's in these photos, and woo, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. So let's start with the first paragraph of this post. The writing is not very long, it's more about the pictures, as I said. So it says, Last week, I drove to a nearby town. The town was surrounded by tall hills and mountains. You can have a very pleasant hike down any of the numerous trails there. Anyway, I was climbing one trail when I saw what looked like a silver box. When I approached it, I saw that it was a digital camera. It was a 3.3 megapixel power shot S20. It was slightly scuffed, but otherwise it was fine. It rained the next day, so I was really lucky to get there when I did. When I got home, I saw that it had a 300 megabyte hard drive inside. So it has a really large value, it's a really expensive camera. So he says, I pity the fool who dropped it so carelessly. Anyways, I just wanted to share the pictures. Now, I feel like I personally am not a very observant person. So when I first glanced through these pictures, I didn't see anything unusual. So right now, I'm just gonna show you all the thumbnails of the pictures so you can look at them as a whole really quickly and then we're gonna go through them one by one and I hope you guys can see some of the things hidden in these pictures. Don't worry there's no jump scares or anything I would never do something like that to you guys. We're just gonna look at them in detail and be our own detectives here because these pictures tell the story of what happened to the guy who left his camera in the woods. Isn't that scary? So I'm gonna tell you what I personally see and if you guys see anything else definitely comment it down below because when thousands of people are looking at it at once I feel like everyone is gonna see something different than what I see so this is the very first picture that was on the camera I don't see anything abnormal it looks like he was about to go on his hike he took his first picture everything looks fine here aside from it being a slightly creepy forest but it's still like daylight it's not foggy everything looks okay so here is the next picture it shows some sort of gate that says stop so it's clearly telling people that you cannot cross this path it could be dangerous 
dangerous, there could be something abandoned there, there could be like poison ivy, there could be stuff that they don't want people venturing into. So by this guy taking a picture of it, we can assume in the story that he's about to go past it. He's one of those rebellious photographers, those rebellious hikers that just want to explore and don't want to be like confined to a trail, you know what I mean? So this is where everything changes because as you can see, once he passes that like stop sign, everything in the forest seems to get foggy. So before it was really light, it was sunny, and now all of a sudden it looks like a forest from your nightmares. Now in this picture, I personally don't see anything yet. It seems like he's just walking down this path, still taking pictures. And then here's the next picture. And this one's sort of blurry and weird. And it just seems like there's fog everywhere. And it almost looks like he's walking really quickly taking this picture. Because as you guys know, if you're like running or using a lot of motion when you're taking a photo, usually it'll be like out of focus, a little bit wonky. So it seems like that's what's happening here. But yet again, I don't actually see anything creepy in this picture. Then we get to this fabulous one. Now I cannot believe that I didn't see this when I first looked at this photo. Like when I was first glancing through all of these, I was like, oh, it's a creepy forest. Nothing's actually there though. How did I not see that like dude's silhouette standing behind those trees? As I show these to you, I'm gonna try and show you like the circled pictures just so you guys know where I'm looking. So in my opinion, when this guy took this photo, he didn't notice this figure because why would he continue his hike through the forest if he saw something that scary? Like if you're in a forest or you're anywhere and you see someone watching you, I feel like you're not gonna continue your journey. You're gonna like leave or call someone or like run away, you know what I mean? So I think when he first took this, he had no idea there was a figure standing there. Because as you can see by this next one, he continues panning around the forest taking pictures. So he was probably just like taking one and continuing it so fast and not actually looking at the footage that he has. I don't see anything particularly weird in this one, but as I keep saying, comment down below if you see something that I don't see. But I just love these creepy pastas where it requires you to look at photos and like find things for yourself. That's sort of like the Dear David one, right? Like you had so much photo evidence to look at, like those are the best creepy pastas. So here's the next one. I don't see anything weird about this one, but still it's such a creepy forest and it just seems like he's just like taking pictures all around him. And then he approaches this tree. Now I know it's hard for you guys to sort of see these things, but it looks like there are these tiny cat looking like creatures sitting on a branch and sitting behind a tree. And you can kind of see like they have eyes, they have these little pointy ears and they're just sitting in this tree looking at this guy. I mean, it could be a girl. I don't know why I keep saying guy. I mean, it could be either. And then he gets even closer to it and here you guys can probably see it better. But what the heck are in the trees? It looks like little spider cats or little monkeys or just really tiny creatures watching him from above. I really have no idea what they're supposed to be. If anyone knows more information about this creepypasta and what creatures they actually are, please tell me because I was looking through all the comments on the actual like creepypasta site and no one knows what they actually are. All right, so here's the next one. So he's clearly continuing walking down the path. I don't see anything in this one, but I mean, this guy is brave. This guy is so brave and it seems like he's totally alone in this. So I don't know if he does this all the time, if he's just a pro at it. I don't know, but I can't relate to like this bravery. If I ever go to haunted places or creepy places, I'm always taking someone with me. And I would never go on a hike alone because like there's bears and stuff. Forget the paranormal creatures. There are bears out there. Okay, so he clearly comes across something very abandoned and broken down. It's some stone building that must be hundreds of years old. And that is probably why there was that stop sign on the path because people aren't supposed to go near this because it could crumble down, it could hurt them. It's just sort of a dangerous thing. And it could be something that is, you know, trying to be protected. It could be something historical that, you know, they don't want people to ruin. But anyways, he comes across this old place and I don't see anything particular in this picture, but let's continue. So he's still taking pictures of this really cool place. I have no idea what it would have been. It's just so creepy how it's just so foggy out there. And at the beginning it was so sunny and bright and everything was okay. So now he seems to be actually walking into the center of this abandoned building. He has to go through that little like tunnel pathway thing. I don't know if you guys remember, but I actually went on a hike. I think it was like two or three years ago. And I came across a place that looks actually a lot like this, just a bit smaller. If I have a clip of the place I found, I'll put it in right now. But doesn't this have like 
like similar vibes. I don't know, it might, it might just be me. So yeah, all of these last few pictures, I don't see anything, but once you get to this part, so it seems like he's done exploring there, now he's continuing down the path, and I don't know if you guys can see, but in that far right window, there is like a head and shoulders, like something is watching him leave. So this whole time, there's always something that has eyes on him, and he literally doesn't know it yet. All right, so this picture is probably the most obvious one, but as I said, when I first looked at these, I didn't see it, so I don't know what's wrong with me. But he's continuing to walk, and as you can see in the fog there, there's something that's sort of walking towards him. It's a figure, but it's sort of warped. Like, it's almost like it's leaning slightly to the side. It looks sort of zombie-ish. I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but he's still being watched, and I still don't think he actually sees it in that moment, probably because of the fog. A camera can pick up a lot more than what your eyes can see. I've learned that from going to places, so that's just so creepy. This this next part, hiding, I don't know if it's in the tree or in that bush there, but to the far left, you can see eyes, he is still being watched. This whole entire experience for him is just him being stalked by random mysterious creatures. So then he approaches this, and I don't know what it is, but the fact that it's something so tall, because first of all, I'm so afraid of heights, but the fact that it kind of gets lost in the fog as it gets higher and higher up, I would never venture there. But he seems intrigued by it, he takes a picture of it, I don't see any anything in this picture, but here he is walking up these stairs. Why is he doing this to himself? I do not know. It doesn't really look stable, and it's creepy because in this picture, literally looking out, you can't see anything. That's how foggy it is, because I don't think those are walls. I think that's literally just the fog in the air around this thing. What is it? It's not a lighthouse. Like, what is it? Some lookout station? Some electrical... I don't know guys. And then it seems like he's almost at the top because he takes a picture looking down back to the path and it just looks like a picnic bench there. I don't really see anything just yet. And this is the first time you ever see one of his body parts, <laughs> which sounds really weird, but you've never seen like his hand or his feet or his shoulders or even himself fully in any of these pictures until now. And what does it say, caution? I don't know if it says caution or what, but it is in English. So I have no idea where this has taken place but who this picture. So it seems like he was almost at the very top and he took a picture of what seems like some sort of creature looking out from the top of this place. I don't know if this creature is using that lookout to look for this guy or I don't know what's going on here, but clearly he finally saw this creature and took a picture of it. So now it shows him running down the stairs because of course you would do that. Imagine just being out there by yourself and seeing that. And here are some running pictures because that's what I would be doing as well. And as you can see, as I said, and as I said before, when you're running and stuff like that, the whole camera is just distorted. So yeah, this is just him running through the fog, wishing he never ever went there, I bet. And then these last few pictures, it looks like it's getting darker. So it looks like he's been out in this place for quite a long time, probably arrived in the morning. It's getting dark. He probably has a long way home. He's probably regretting all of his decisions. So these pictures are just him like panning around the forest and it just gets foggier and foggier but if you look in this one in the fog it looks like there is some sort of creature in there about to get him I still it almost looks alien like it might literally just be an alien and then this is the very last picture. His camera's on the ground. He was obviously taken by whatever this creature was. And this was the place that the guy who posted this found the camera. So I don't know guys, I was so intrigued by this story. So definitely let me know what you think down below. And if you wanna see other people's comments on this or the original post, the link is down below in the description. But yeah, let me know if you guys like me doing these sort of mysterious investigation type find it yourself videos because I'm really intrigued by these and I kind of want to know what you guys want to see from me because obviously I'm gonna be always telling my own stories but every once in a while doing stuff like this I just I just love it and before I get going I do have to mention the new channel members so give me just one second all right so we're gonna continue where I left off before as I always say I can only say a handful of names in one video so if you have not heard your name yet it will be mentioned in an upcoming video so let's go we have Kayla Kelly Bo TV XXX Briona DeSantis 
Santos, Giselle and Christopher, Kayla Rose, Fox 101, Emily Gutierrez, Emily Screeber, Glimmer Paris Reads, It's Sids, Alex Webb, Dark Wolf underscore MSP, Stacia Bever, Scarlet Nova, Rachel Mint, Jenna Slimes 06, Jimmy Cladis, Fuzz and Bubbles, Kaylee Clark, Bunny Lover 06, Victoria Ruth, Nishali Ortiz, Joe Hale, Grace Williams, Grace W, Monica Urban, Mr. Furrylot, Jamie Stan, Abby Todd, Nicole Bonds, Riley, and we'll stop at YouTube Girl. So thank you all of you for becoming official members of my channel. It means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. So I will be mentioning the rest of the names in my upcoming videos, and I just hope all of you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.